Hi and welcome to a lecture on chronic liver diseases. Chronic liver diseases refers to the progressive destruction of the liver parenchyma over a period greater than six months leading to fibrosis and cirrhosis. It consists of a wide range of liver pathologies which include inflammation, liver cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. Note here that fibrosis refers to the formation of excess fibrous connective tissue either in an organ or tissue in a reparative or reactive process. In this lecture we shall get to discuss liver conditions which includes ascites, spontaneous bacterial peritonitis, hepatic encephalopathy, cholestatic disease which includes primary biliary cirrhosis and primary sclerosing cholangitis, autoimmune chronic hepatitis, high plasma aldosterone levels in patients with ascites results in sodium and fluid retention and therefore spironolactone is the diuretic of choice. It should be noted here that the clearance of spironolactone and its active metabolites are impaired in advanced cirrhosis. Therefore, full therapeutic diuretic effects can take up to two weeks to be observed and here again it is important to adjust the dose slowly in this setting. Now, let's get to discuss hepatic encephalopathy. Hepatic encephalopathy is the occurrence of confusion altered level of consciousness and coma as a result of liver failure. In the advanced stages it is called hepatic coma or coma hepaticum and it may ultimately lead to death. With reference to therapeutic choices it should be noted here that the antibiotic rifaximin is indicated for the reduction in risk of overt hepatic encephalopathy recurrence in adults. 13 to 15 mg per kg per day of ursodeoxycholic acid improves serum liver biochemical tests in patients with primary biliary cirrhosis and primary sclerosing cholangitis. It appears to have limited efficacy in preventing disease progression in primary sclerosing cholangitis. Note here that there is no benefit to using high dose of ursodeoxycholic acid in the management of primary sclerosing cholangitis. Immunosuppression with corticosteroids either with or without azathioprine prolongs life, decreases symptoms, improves serum biochemical abnormalities and diminishes hepatic inflammation. The goal here is to induce remission. With reference to the management of chronic alcohol-related liver disease, it should be noted here that there is no universally accepted medical therapy except abstention from alcohol. Long-term treatment with propylthiouracil or colchicin has been studied but results have not been encouraging. With reference to alcoholic hepatitis, Prednisolone and pentoxifilin are used for the treatment of patients with severe biopsy-proven alcoholic hepatitis.